Hello viewers, in this class we are going to study variation of electrolyte conductance and conductivity and molar conductivity with concentration of electrolyte. See, we know that for electricity to conduct in an electrochemical cell, there is one electrolyte which contains cations and anions which are charged particles which flow from one end to other as flow of charged particles in electricity and the electricity passes through the electrochemical cell. But now we will study that what is the variation of electrolyte conductance, conductivity and molar conductivity with concentration of electrol electrolyte. If we dilute the electrolyte and if, if we make it less concentrated then what will be its effect on its electrolyte conductance, conductivity or molar conductivity. We will in this lesson we will study elect, uh, the effect of concentration or effect of dilution. We can also say concentration of electrolyte or effect of Dilution. What is the meaning of dilution? Meaning of dilution is by if we add more water to the electrolyte, uh, what will happen? We are diluting the electrolyte. So, in this lesson, we will study electrolyte mm -hmm. conductance, variation of electrolyte conductance, and variation of conductivity. This part, third part, is a little bit uh little big little bit big uh, bigger uh bigger topic so we will study it in our next class separate class and in this uh, in that class we will study kolhast law also now we come on to the variation of electrolyte conductance with concentration of electrolyte let us see what is the de definition of conductance, electrolytic conductance. It is the property of electrolyte by virtue of which it allows the flow of charged particles. What are the charged particles? That is cations and anions in the electrolyte and flow of these charged particles are called electricity. So this is the property of electrolyte to allow the flow of charged particles that is electricity through it. It is the reciprocal of resistance means if resistance is denoted by R then it is equal to 1 by R. Resistance is the re resistance to the flow of charged particles and it is the allowance conductance is the allowance it is just the opposite of the resistance and you know that unit of resistance is ohm then resi uh, unit of conductance is ohm inverse and we also call it as Siemens okay it is also called Siemens now it was the uh, definition part and what is conductance now we come on to the effect of dilution or effect of concentration of electrolyte on the conductance of the electrochemical cell. See here we have one table and in first column we have activity that is dilution of electrolyte. We are diluting the electrolyte or we are making it concentration less concentrated means concentration is decreasing. If dilu dilution is increasing then concentration is decreasing. When dilution increases, volume increases, when volume increases, concentration, concentration decreases. Now you see that in case of electrolyte, there is one factor alpha which is called degree of dissociation
डिग्री ऑफ डिसोसिएशन मीन्स इन वी इन केस ऑफ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट वट इज डिग्री ऑफ डिसोसिएशन डिग्री ऑफ डिसोसिएशन इज द डिग्री ऑफ आयनाइजेशन इट इज द डिग्री ऑफ आयनाइजेशन इन अपू विच द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इज आयनाइज इन एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइटिक सोल्यूशन सपोज इफ इट इज टेन परसेंट देन वी से दैट टेन परसेंट ऑफ आयंस आर टेन परसेंट ऑफ मोलिक्यूल्स आर आयनाइज इन द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सोल्यूशन एंड इफ वी इंक्रीज द डायल्यूशन इफ वी एड मोर वाटर इफ वी एड मोर वाटर टू दिस इलेक्ट्रोलाइट वाट विल हैपन दिस एल्फा विल इंक्रीज इन केस ऑफ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इन केस ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट alpha that is degree of dissociation is already 100% means all the ions all the molecules all the particles of the electrolyte have been ionized 100% of the molecules have been ionized in the electrolytic solution this is the case of strong electrolyte but in case of weak electrolyte there is one degree of dissociation and which increases with dilution as we add more water to it its alpha will increase and it will reach to uh, more than 10% say 20% or 30% so when alpha increases or degree of dissociation increases then what will happen number of ions that are present in the electrolytic solution they also increases and as the number of ions increases the charged particles charged particles which are present uh, which are available for flow is also increased and when charged particles are increased conductance is also increased so in case of weak electrolyte this is weak electrolyte when dilution increases volume volume increases and concentration decreases but what happens alpha degree of dissociation it increases and which increase number of ions which are ready for flow in an electrochemical cell that also increases and which increases conductance okay now we come on to the next case this is as case 1 case second is strong electrolyte in case of strong electrolyte when dilution increases same concentration decreases volume also increases dilution increases volume increases concentration decreases then in this case alpha is already 100% means all the all the molecules of the electrolyte have been ionized and by adding more water or by diluting it further there is no increase in number of ions no increase in ions in number of ions no increase in number of ions so what happens but conductance increases here also conductance increases then what is the reason of increase of conductance in case of strong electrolyte c number of charged particles number of ions have not been increased by adding more water or by diluting the solution then why the conductance increases experimentally we have found that conductance also increases in case of strong electrolyte then what is the reason of increase in conductance the reason is that the distance between these charged particles that 
see here the charged particles are this much this much charged particles are now spread in all this solution uh, by increasing the dilution and when dilution is increased the spread of these ions also increases when the spread of these ions uh, increases the space between them or the distance between them also increases then the force of attraction force of attraction that decreases because force of attraction is the force when uh, which which resist the flow of particles which resist the flow of ions because force of attraction they bind the ions together and when that force of attraction is decreased the they the ions are more readily moved they are they can flow more freely from one end to the other and which increases the conductance through the electrolyte so the increase in conductance in case of strong electrolyte is due to the decrease in due to decrease in force of attraction between ions and why there is decrease in force of attraction because the distance between the charged particle distance between the ions distance between the cations and anions increases so this is the reason of increase in conductance in case of strong electrolyte but now we we can see one question may arise that whether this factor increase in ionization in weak electrolyte by dilution is more dominating of the this factor decrease in force of attraction so the answer to this question is that this force this conductance this increase in conductance in weak electrolyte is more dominating with uh, as compared to the increase in conductance due to in strong electrolyte so this is more dominating this is less dominating so this is the case of variation of electrolytic conductance with the dilution or concentration of the electrolyte now we comes to another factor conductivity the variation of conductivity variation of conductivity with dilution or with concentration of the electrolyte see what is conductivity conductivity is the conductance due to all ions which are present in 1 ml of electrolytic solution so it is the conductance per unit volume in milliliter it is the conductance per unit volume in milliliter it is the reciprocal of resistivity and it is denoted by kappa and it is the reciprocal of resistivity 1 by rho and its unit is siemens meter per meter or in other uh, some units practical units siemens centimeter inverse this is the unit of conductivity see the unit of conductance was siemens but in case of conductivity it is the siemens per meter or siemens per centimeter now we see we will see that what is the effect on conductivity if we increase the dilution of the electrolytic solution see dilution is increased volume is increased 
when dilution is increased we add more water and volume is also increased but in this case when volume is increased density of electrolyte in electrolytic solution that decreases that decreases and what happens number of ions in 1 milliliter of electrolyte that also decreases number of ions in 1 milliliter of electrolyte that also decreases when number of ions in electrolyte decreases what will happen conductivity will also decrease so this is the case of conductivity in an electrolyte lytic electrochemical cell when electrolyte is diluted we add more water volume increases what happens density of electrolyte decreases then but when density of electrolyte increases what happens number of ions present in 1 milliliter of electrolyte that decreases and hence when number of ions which are the which play uh, main role in conducting conductivity of the electricity that they decrease then conductivity also decrease in the electrochemical cell in the electrolyte so we see that conductance increases both in case of weak and strong electrolyte and conductivity decreases with dilution both in case of both in case of weak and strong electrolyte so this is true in for both the cases weak and strong electrolyte because the uh, density of electrolyte decreases both in weak and strong electrolyte so now in our next class we will see that what is the effect of dilution on molar conductivity first we will see what is molar conductivity and then we will see that after dilution what is the effect of dilution on molar conductivity of a electrolytic solution and then we will study kolwasla that is in our next class thank you for watching the video